You know one of the big problems with tech YouTube and gaming YouTube? Well, there's a lot of problems, but one of the problems is the fact that there is not really a lot of AMD specific GPU related content. If you're trying to do anything related to content creation, it's Nvidia this and Nvidia that. There is very little AMD content. Now, part of that reason is because, well, frankly, for the longest time, AMD sucked when it came to actually allowing you to be a content creator. Trust me, ask me how I know. Been there, done that. When I first started this channel, I was actually streaming on Twitch and I was trying to use my AMD Radeon 5700 XT and the quality was really bad. And so I ultimately had to rely on my CPU. And so I switched over to Nvidia and I never looked back, but things have changed. AMD has come a very long way in the last several years. This is 2026. We now have an AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT with an AV1 encoder. And I'm currently doing a 30 day challenge using AMD as my daily driver. And Part of that challenge is I need to be able to actually live stream. Now, I no longer live stream on Twitch. I'm all in here on YouTube on this channel. So here's footage from my very first ever live stream just last week right here on E-Rock on Tech. And now live streaming. Live streaming is the last big hurdle I have to kind of figure out. Hey, how's it going? So how's the look? How does the stream look? How does it sound? Because I am live and encoding right now with the AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT using the AV1 encoder on that card. And as you can see in that footage, the video quality is amazing. The audio quality is amazing. I even got a comment where somebody could not believe the quality. They actually thought it was not a live stream, but a pre-rendered video out of some editing software. But no, this was actually live in real time using the 9070 XT and the AV1 encoder. Now today, I'm going to show you how I did that. So I use OBS. I highly recommend it. There are other solutions out there, but OBS is the most popular. It's the thing that probably has the most videos on it on YouTube. And so that is definitely what I use. And it's also what I recommend. Now, AMD is also a diamond partner with OBS. So that definitely helps a lot in terms of compatibility and features available. Now with OBS, this is what you need to do to set your stream up to look the way that mine just did inside OBS. Yes, go to file, go to settings, go to stream, pick your service. Mine is YouTube. Yours may be YouTube or Twitch or something else. Now connect your account. Now with YouTube, you can simply log into your account and it will automatically connect. And you do not have to worry about a dedicated stream API key or anything like that. Next, go to output. Under output, make sure you are on the streaming tab. And for the audio encoder, I left it default FFmpeg AAC. For the video encoder, if you're using an AMD Radeon 9000 series, GPU like the 9070, 9070 XT, 9060 XT, for example, make sure you choose AMD HW AV1. From there, rescale your output. I'm using the highest quality available, which is sharpened scaling 36 samples. And I'm also streaming in 1080p. Now under encoder settings for rate control, make sure you choose CBR, constant bit rate. And for bit rate, I'm using 8,000 kilobits per second. And for the keyframe interval, I'm using 2S. For the preset, I'm using high quality. For the profile, I'm using main. And finally, for max B frames, I'm using two. Now, hold up real fast before you get all trigger happy. Let me explain this right here. The bit rate that I'm using may not be the bit rate that you can personally handle. It completely depends on your internet service connection. I'm getting two gigs down and 300 up with my internet connection, so I can handle this totally fine. However, if your internet is not that strong, then you will need to go do a speed test and see you know, what your download speed is and your upload speed is. And then from there, you can look at YouTube's recommended settings for you know the kilobits per second that you're gonna need in order to get the quality you need at 1080p. Now, if you're trying to stream at 1440p or even at 4K, then you're definitely going to need really good internet. So just keep that in mind. And by the way, I just want to point out the fact that each platform, each streaming platform that is, will have its own requirements. Twitch, for example, does not allow you to use as high of a bit rate as YouTube will. So you can actually have a much higher bit rate on a platform like YouTube. However, if you look at the streaming requirements for Twitch, they're already doing the conversion for you and telling you exactly how many kilobits per second you need. Whereas YouTube is giving that information to you in megabits per second. So you actually need 
need to do that conversion yourself. And finally, I cannot stress this enough, outside of having a really good internet connection, the thing that will be key here is that AV1 encoder, which again, the 9070 XT does have. The AV1 encoder is a much more efficient encoder when compared to other encoders out there or traditional encoders like X264, for example. So if you have the AV1 encoder, I highly recommend using that. And overall, this just means that people with lower internet speeds can still have a high quality stream. Now, with all that being said, as an added bonus, here are my recording settings because we're already here in OBS and I'm using the 9070 XT to record all of my videos on YouTube lately. And so here you go. This is exactly what I'm using in order to record all of my YouTube videos as of late. Anyway, that's it. I hope you found the video valuable. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and you know what maybe share it with a friend if they have an amd gpu and you want to help them out because you know they're looking to stream record become a content creator all that stuff right anyway until next time e rock out